Hey, Anthony. Yes. Um, I want to live stream some music. From okay. Myself, but I don't know how. Okay. Could you uh, show me how? Yes. So there's two options. You can grab OBS or Streamlabs OBS. Are you going to explain the whole thing right now? I guess, yeah. You don't want to just shoot a video about it? I, we could. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Let's do it. Live streaming and screen recording is bigger than ever, but audio quality can sometimes feel like a hurdle, especially for musicians. And you know, the problem is there's so many different solutions depending on your DAW or your operating system. It often involves complex audio routing and latency issues between different software and audio sources. Sources. It can get really messy really fast. But luckily in this video, I'm gonna show you the best and easiest way to stream audio from your DAW. Come on, let's uh, let's get into it. Okay. The solution to this ever evolving problem is a plugin called Lander Sessions. Shameless plug. Let me show you. All you have to do is drag Lander Sessions onto the channel that you want to live stream, open it up, and just make sure stream.audio is on. Now go to your favorite streaming software. I'm using Streamlabs OBS, but this is gonna work with all of the major options. You'll want to add an audio input capture source. And you'll see here in the menu, I can select Lander Sessions. That's seriously it. Now I can go back to my DAW, I can play audio. And you'll see it coming through the audio input capture source. That's it. You're ready to go live. That's seriously it, that's it. Yeah, that's that's all you have to like from what I can understand. <laughs> all right, I mean this is a video then we should just end the video. I think that that's it. I mean, I could go live with that, but there's some more stuff that you should know to get the best results. Okay, I mean, all right, fine. Give them some good tips. So tip number one is to use parallel effects on your vocal channel. You can see here, I have my microphone channel here and I'm sending that information to this channel here, vocal effects. On there, I have my reverb and delay and it's gonna give my vocals a space to live in that will sit well with the rest of the music. Once you're finished singing and you can easily turn it off and that's gonna allow you to communicate with your audience in a more conversational tone. Tip number two, put a limiter on your master bus. Now, you don't wanna crush your audio with a limiter when you're live streaming, but it is nice to have that ceiling that your peaks won't go over and cause any clicks or pops. So on my limiter, you'll see that I've set a ceiling of negative one dB, and you wanna make sure the limiter is always before lander sessions in your plugin chain, along with any other effects that you decide to use. Why is that? Because you want all the processing that you choose to use to go through lander sessions. And then anything that comes after Lander Sessions won't be broadcasted because the processing is after the plugin. Right. Yeah. So tip number three is all about preventing latency. You probably noticed latency or lag when recording into a DAW before. It's important when you're live streaming to keep this as low as possible without introducing any artifacts into the sound. You can change this by going to your DAW's preferences, and a safe spot for the buffer size is around 128 samples. If you go too low, you might get some pops and crackles. And if you go too high, that's when you'll get a lot of latency. It's also worth mentioning that running live streaming software along with a DAW with plugins can be taxing on your computer. You'll want to make sure that any other applications that you're not using are closed so your computer can use all the resources for the live stream. Tip number four is to gain stage your mic signal. I don't know how to explain it. Just like when you're recording vocals, you wanna gain stage the signal coming into your DAW. In general, you should aim for an average signal of negative 18 dBFS. To do this, I'd recommend singing the loudest parts of your song and adjusting the gain level so you have enough signal to work with, but it's not too loud and clipping. For a more in-depth video on gain staging, check out this video here where we explain it more in-depth video on gain staging. Tip number five is to monitor from a different channel. Now, when you're live streaming, you want your audience to hear a fully realized mix, but when you're performing, you might need more vocal or kick drum in your headphones to put on a better performance, but you don't want the audience to hear that. It's super easy. Just route the mix that you would like to a return channel and send that to your headphones or studio monitors. Everything else that the audience will hear will be on a separate channel with Lander Sessions on it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video helps you set up your DAW for live streaming high quality audio. And be sure to leave me a comment below, give us a thumbs up. It really helps with the algorithm to recommend this video to other people that might be looking for the same solution. See ya. Where are you going? Why are you turning to the side? I'm gonna live stream. Oh, right. Yeah, I'm live streaming right now. Hey, uh, Anthony, uh, you 
you busy right now? Hey, no, I'm. I'm gonna... <laughs> what do you want from me? Just. I can't. You're, you got in my head. I can't do it. Look, it, it you're starting to act. It, it, you're acting first. I know I am acting. But Stop it. it. 